So sorry to say, I am guilty as charged for increasing all of your screen time through mobile apps, games, and emerging technology and algorithms that drive the attention economy. But I am here to atone for what I've done, and I've been racking my brain about how I can best serve humanity. And after endless research and sleepless nights, I've figured it out. How many of you have thought about how our financial system is responsible for the climate crisis? And don't worry, I've done some homework here as well, if you haven't. But unfortunately, I have some bad news. You see, we are funding our own doom. How, you ask? We fund projects without factoring in the consequences to our environment and our local and global community. Completely unacceptable. But the good news is the financial system can become our most powerful ally to ensure that we do not continue down this path. So how did we get here? Well, there's no doubt that financiers have stimulated economic growth that is nothing short of a miracle, particularly since the Industrial Revolution. This has allowed for unprecedented speed of innovation like we have never experienced before. But all this growth, as we know, is correlating with the rise in global temperature. And that rise in temperature is causing a number of expensive events. The system is there for growth, but all this growth is triggering a number of costly and dangerous outcomes. And there is really one massive problem. I mean, all of these accomplishments have created a climate crisis that needs urgent repair now. But I'm not here to talk about doom and gloom. In the spirit of innovation, challenge us to step up to the plate and create solutions. And the area that needs to be the driving force is how we first started, the financiers. Here's a 15-second video about how our total energy consumption over the last 100 plus years, which is mainly based on fossil fuels, which have been either directly or indirectly financed by government and private institutions, predominantly coal, oil, gas. And it's created an incredible force. I mean, for the last 50 years or so, the fossil, industry, fossil fuel industry generates approximately 2.8 billion a day in profit, pure profit. And the industry did not get here on its own. It was the financiers that were the catalyst and still remain so. They remain a formidable force and should be held as stewards to solving the environmental and social impacts that their lending and investments have wreaked on this planet. So how do we leverage these stakeholders and get them to collaborate? to be a part of the solution. There's extensive financial data out there already that is not being leveraged when it concerns the various financial instruments that are used and which have a direct or indirect consequence on the climate. Case study here. Let's examine, for example, the use of a bond, which is an interest-bearing instrument that is used to finance an agricultural project in the Amazon. This project has nothing to do with preserving the forest canopy Rather, it is being used to cut down the forest so they can produce cattle, beef, and soy, which is adverse to the climate and the carbon footprints that they generate. Do you realize, I mean, all of you, your pension right now, today, or a bond, perhaps, your fixed income, could be financing this right now, unknowingly. If this was monitored and reported, as I am currently working on, you might be able to move that money somewhere else. Or maybe your bank could raise the interest rates on that borrower, a connected financial system. So I'm in the process of leveraging not just the financial data behind projects, but also the incorporation of billions of sensors already out there, more and more sensors every day, including data and, image and imaging from satellites, collaboration with dedicated scientists, environmental advocates and agencies, as well as individuals. We can capture real-time data and help make informed planet-positive decisions. 
And if we can make more informed decisions with data to trade stocks and bonds, why haven't we expanded this to fully account for the actual and probable environmental impacts of where our capital will be employed? I mean, really, we can do this. And what I'm creating is a, a, an interconnected data web that will be shared publicly and with private institutions. And access to this information allows anyone to have critical green information about how projects should and shouldn't be financed. We know capitalism has its place, but it has to be environmentally and socially responsible because we have only one home, our Earth. And if we truly want to preserve it, let's finance it responsibly. Thank you.